when I was 10 years old, my mom and dad said, you were kidnapped from the hospital. The FBI found you a couple of years later. I had no idea what happened. Is this really true? I started really wondering, am I really Paul? For quite some time, he was trying to find out, who am I? He knew that DNA testing could help him find the answer to his mystery. And the test results said, there's no possibility that you're Paul Franza. But there's more. The new documentary, The Lost Sons, is the fascinating true story of Paul Franzak, a man who discovered that he had been kidnapped as a baby and his quest to find his true identity, which set in motion the second longest cold case in U.S. history. It's also the subject of the upcoming book, True Identity, which comes out in December. And uh, Paul joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I, I think your parents were initially supportive of you seeking the truth and then were not, uh, they were angry. Wh how is your relationship right now? Right now, things could be better. My mom and I talk probably almost every day. And uh, it's it's been a, a tragic event that really brought us together better than we ever been before. So for people who don't know the nuts and bolts of this, quickly, Paul, tell them what happened and how you found out about it. Okay, so I was 10 years old, snooping around looking for Christmas presents. And I came across all these boxes full of clippings and articles and things about a kidnapping. And that's what really set this whole thing in motion. And then fast forward to 2012, I finally did a DNA test with my parents and found out that I wasn't who everyone thought I was. And so did you track down your biological family? I did, I did. Um, it's, it's, it's a long, it's, it's a crazy journey. And it's all in my book, The Foundling, because there's no way we could do this. And, I don't know, seven hours. There's just, it's, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Did they embrace you? Uh, no. No, no it's, not at it's, all. Do, do you know why? You what, what, right? What's behind that? Uh, that's what we're working on right now. I think something very sinister happened in, in my family uh, involving a twin sister, which is missing, maybe murdered. Wow. So there's a lot more to this mystery. It's still ongoing, and there's a lot more to come. And Paul, do they did they ever find out who kidnapped you from the hospital here in Chicago? That's a great question. And we're working on that right now. And we are so close to finding answers. So just give me a little more time and I promise we'll get some wow. results. So the real Paul doesn't want anything to do with any of this, but couldn't you just simply confront him? Just have you tried that? Well, you know, I, just, I mean, out of respect to, to him and his family, that's the reason I didn't even want to release his name. It, it got out eventually, but you know, he, he passed away. And um, it's, my mom actually got some closure. She got to speak with him a couple of times. And to me, that was worth this whole journey because the only reason I started this was to find my parents' real kidnapped child. What, are, what is your parents' reaction to all this? I mean, I, I know there it was, it's a tough thing to realize um, because they thought they found you as a baby, like, what was it, a year after you were kidnapped? And your mom's like, oh, that, that's my son. And does she feel guilty that she thought you were her son? Or what, what's that journey been like for her? You know, it's, my mom's not guilty about anything. And if anything, my mom should feel amazingly good because she saved my life. Yeah. Because if she didn't say I was her son, I would have been placed back in the system and God only knows what would have happened to me. So my mom, she got to, she actually had two balls. Because she raised me as Paul, yeah. and then she got to say she got to actually speak with the real Paul. And and do you have any insight into her conversation with the real Paul and what happened there? I was actually there, so I was I was elated, and my my daughter Emma was, was actually with me. Um, they just my mom was just talking and just you know how do you even have a conversation when you've missed the last fifty six plus years of your son's life. You know, she's wanted to just, you know, see how he's doing, make sure he's okay, and just, you know, connect. I, I can't imagine, you know, the emotional roller coaster you've been on finding out about all of this, but um, what message do you have for, you know, I mean, I, like you said, you have such warm things to say about your mom who raised you and, and the emotional journey you've been on through this whole thing. Um, I would say that anyone who has any doubts about their identity, reach out to me. Go to foundlingpaul.com. Let's find out who you really are. Because to live a lie isn't living at all. We only have one one chance in this lifetime. And if you if you if you have any questions about that, you need to find the answers. Don't stop. 
There's some people that kind of regret doing DNA tests, though, because it can have a backlash, and you say it's still worth it. Absolutely. You know, you can live with the truth. You can move on. You can heal from the truth. But if you don't know what the truth is, and you're living a lie, then you make up all kinds of things in your head, and you never even know what's happening. Yeah. So, you know, you can never go wrong by living the truth. Well, it's an unbelievable story. For more, you can check out The Foundling, foundlingpaul.com, and CNN's The Lost Sons is streaming now, and the book is True Identity. Paul, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. You too.